After completing all isolations and possible evacuation of passengers, the area to be lifted needs to be identified. A staging area needs to be selected that is safe in case of movement and also away from the danger zone of the lift area. Chock all four sets of wheels. Trucks and buses should have four point stabilisation. There are three airbags available on each MPHR appliance, one 18 tonne and two 40 tonne. Two 40 tonne airbags side by side will lift up to 80 tonnes. Two airbags stacked on top of each other will only lift up to the capacity of the smallest bag. When used in this configuration, the largest bag must be placed on the bottom and the smallest on top. Baseboards and protection mats should be used wherever possible. When preparing to lift with the airbags, estimate the load to be lifted, consider the distance to be lifted, position each airbag as close to the lifting surface as possible. It is important to minimise the distance between the bag and the lift area to maximise the surface area of contact and achieve optimum lift capacity. This is achieved by using cribbing blocks and a baseboard, ensuring the top layer of the crib is closed. The lifting capacity of the airbags is dependent on the surface area of the contact with the load. As the bag expands, the surface area of contact reduces, reducing the lifting capacity of the bag. If using two stacked airbags, nothing must be placed between the airbags, otherwise it may be ejected out. Never stack more than two airbags together. Connect the pressure regulator to the BA cylinder and then connect the pressure regulator hose to the dual controller. Run the red and yellow air lines from the dual controller to the safety shutoff hose. The other end is connected to the airbag. Place the airbag assembly into a position central to the load to be lifted. At least 75% of the bag must be under the load. Be aware vehicle suspension systems may impede the maximum lift height. As with any lift, a means of supporting the load in case of load shift must be in place on the same structural component. Pack as you jack. Cribbing can be utilised to achieve this. The load is now ready for lifting. Using the dual controller, inflate the airbags. When using two stack bags, inflate the bottom bag first as a foundation and then inflate the top bag. Remembering, the bag lifting ability reduces as the bag inflates and the contact area with the load surface is reduced. If the load is greater than the lifting capacity of the bag, the safety shutoff valve assembly or the pressure relief valve in the dual controller will begin to vent and lifting will cease. The airbag will remain at this level. As the vehicle is lifted, stabilisation must be monitored and adjusted. Rescue can now be effected. When lowering the load, deflate the airbags using the dual controller, upper bag first, then lower. Remembering to adjust cribbing to maintain minimum distance between the load and the crib at all times. Pause now and discuss.